Lloyd Kelly cooks free meals for his neighbors, the work keeping his mind off the stifling heat and humidity. Glennis Waterman sits on her porch with her puppy, Roscoe, hoping for a breeze, reading books on her iPhone charged by a neighbor's generator. All across New Orleans, residents are sweaty and grumbling, alternately frustrated and resigned to what many feel is the slow pace of power restoration after Hurricane Ida's destruction. Experts say the heat poses a real danger to the elderly who cannot cool off, and at least four people have died and 82 people have been taken to hospitals because of carbon monoxide poisoning from generators. About 438,000 customers remained without electricity Monday night, and some areas of Louisiana may not see their power restored for several more weeks, Power Provider Energy predicts. It's hot and miserable, frustrating and uncomfortable, Cooper, 57, says Monday afternoon. She hopes the power comes back Wednesday, but that will be only the first step, she works as a server at a restaurant that's closed because it doesn't have power, and without money coming in, she's worried about paying her bills. We're sweating to death, Paula Calise, 65, says, waving a pair of cooking tongs and dancing as hot in here by Nellie rumbles from the speakers of her parked Honda minivan. Calise and her husband, along with several others, set up barbecue grills on the median on St. Claude hours after the storm passed. They're still out there, cooking and giving away whatever food people donate. Kelly has been helping them. An out-of-work mason, Kelly has been staying with family in the area and volunteered to cook with Khalees and her husband, Kevin. It takes things off your mind, having something to do, Kelly says. A few blocks away, Kem Mangum, 59, and her neighbors are doing the same, collecting or buying whatever food they can find to give it away. Without refrigeration to keep food from spoiling or electricity to run microwaves and stoves, and with only limited supplies of gasoline, many New Orleans residents depend on free food giveaways to survive. We're exhausted. I'm not sure how much longer we can do this, Mangum says. New Orleans didn't do that bad, and we'd be fine if we just had electricity. Across the city, streets are clear, garbage pickups are ongoing and public bus services are running. But most shops, restaurants and hotels are closed, and the neon signs of the city's fabled Bourbon Street are dark. For the first few days, Waterman, 66, donated the food in her fridge and freezer to the neighborhood food giveaway organized by Mangum and others. As the days turned into a week, she began depending on the giveaways herself. Like others in the neighborhood, Waterman hoped to get power back Monday but learned it might not come back for at least two more days. Tuesday's forecast is for temperatures in the 80s, with close to 90% humidity.